Okay, I'm drying some flowers, and I have a weed. It's like a milkweed that you um, can find anywhere, and I'm finding out these little things are adorable. So I'm just cutting the stem off, and then you stick your finger in the middle and kind of spread them out. Lay them on your board. Check your flowers so you got a nice spiral. Push down on the center. And that kind of gets them flattened out for you. I got a couple more in here I'm going to add. Then after that, I'm doing kind of a stack system where I, underneath here, I've already got some flowers pressed and I'm using our old marble leftover pieces to press them. And when you put them together, they're about 45 pounds on top. So. I usually do those and then a couple more on top. But this way, I'm gonna to try to get some pretty orange flowers this time, plus my others. And I have a nice basket over here to do many more. Get myself kind of set up for winter or for whenever I feel like doing crafts because I'm kind of really enjoying using real flowers. It kind of changes my artwork a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. I've got paper already cut, another piece of parchment paper underneath on top. Just lay it on top and then I've got these marble slabs and I lay one down. And I cut on angles. Put the other one up here. And you don't want to slide them just Join it on right on top, lay them down. Now I've got two stacks. And then I can just start all over again. I've got some of the long, I love these things. Um, Four bells, something like something like that. Anyway, they're easy to press. So I cut those off. I need to end up taking some of that stem off. I found out that I'm using just the flowers. So I don't need to take up so much space. And then I grabbed some seedlings that came off of the coleus and I thought boy those would be kind of cool if they'll um, flatten nicely to make a stem so we're going to try it so this takes a week you once you get your flowers and get them down on there then cover them up find a nice dry space someplace that's not in the way and um then you can do your you're drying up your flowers. I don't put a lot on at once. I don't want them to run into each other. So at this point, I've got just a few more in my basket. I will do one more tray. Stack of three, and then I'll stack the top one with just some weight for all of it. And this is how I dry my flowers. <laughs> 